Hey everybody, Dave here, One Mechanic. Welcome back to the channel. Um, before I get started, if you guys get a chance to subscribe and hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. It helps the channel to get discovered by more people through the YouTube analytics or analytics, however you say that, sorry. Um, so yeah, if you don't mind, that'd be awesome. First thing I got, Snap-on orange screwdrivers. So, you know, one of the first things you buy as a new mechanic is screwdrivers. Pretty basic, right? And I had bought, not this set, but a set similar to these way back when in the day. And I always loved them. And through the years, um, They've gotten broken or missing or traded in maybe even. I don't really remember exactly. Um, I do remember I had some, um, some special edition ones. They were dark green. They were for a charity for the wetlands, I think it was. Had a duck on it. Came with a hat. Um, I had those for a while I used those for a long time too um, but I've always liked the hard handles I've always I've always liked the shape of them um, it's also easy to clean what I like about them too um, my old screwdrivers are the extinct style and I mean that's an orange screwdriver but you can't really tell and they don't clean up too easily um, but besides that, they are a good screwdriver. Um, I do like them. And these will go into my regular box, my overflow box, because I keep them as a backup um, to these other ones. Um, but I got those, and actually I got these a few weeks ago. Um, just now showing you to them. And the other thing I got was an inflator from Snap-on right there and this is a part number g a 359 b as in boy um my current inflator is this right here this is a blue point inflator i've had this thing forever i've had this part forever too now this the end of this is a Milton. Uh, I put this on two years ago. Um, but, I mean, you can tell how many times how used up it is. But, I like having the handle. I like being able, especially when you're doing the rim on the outside where you're pulling, you know, on the head. I like the handle that gives you something to hold on to. Also, if you're out in the field, it's nice to be able to hold this instead of cold metal. But this is what I currently use. And I bought this because we got one for our service truck. And this thing's a hoss. This thing will throw air like you wouldn't believe. Um, so that handle is a little bit bigger, has a soft handle, um, which I wish I had a hard handle, but look how much bigger <laughs> look how much bigger my shaft is. That's probably funnier in different ways. But let's see there you go. So you can definitely tell that is bigger um i mean just like that it's actually about the same length so there's really nothing gained there but that little bit of bigness from our service truck air compressor and the service truck the the actual inflator is the same model inflator the blue point inflator which 
Yeah, I don't have the part number on it anymore. Um, but they've had it forever. They still carry it. Um, actually, I think I warranted that out a couple of years ago. Again, though, they still carry it. It's been a great inflator. But, um, but that is my second item. So, like I said, using it on our service truck, this thing was awesome. So, I'm happy to get this for myself. Um, now, something I want to throw to you guys and ask you a question. I saw, it was a live stream or a video, I don't remember what, where somebody talked about putting air fittings on the end of the tool and then an air chuck on the end of the line and that way they could swap out which they wanted, what these they want to use. So maybe they don't want one with a double head or maybe a straight head or maybe a short inflator or maybe a locking head inflator and they can just snap it on and off. That's a good idea. I question though about it leaking at the coupler after so long. So if you guys have done that or have an opinion of it, um, please leave in the comments below. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are, are on it and why. Good or bad, why you think that. This is something I'm toying with at this particular time. All right. So this is One Mechanic. As always, have an awesome week. Take care of each other. And we'll catch you on the next video. Ciao. Bye-bye.